Apple AirTags, these little white pucks that they invented to track anything you can put this in. You could stick this in a bag, your luggage, stick it to the back of your phone, and anywhere in the world, you can track this from your iPhone. But how does this happen when this little puck has no internet connectivity? It actually uses Bluetooth. And I know you might be thinking already that, well, my Bluetooth can barely even reach my headphones when I walk over to the neighbor's house or the garage. How is it tracking this across the world? And you're right, even the latest version of Bluetooth can only go about 800 feet, and that's assuming a clear line of sight anyways. So this would go way further and through a bunch of objects. How is this possible? It's actually pretty tricky and a very clever solution by piggybacking off other iPhones in the area. And with over a billion iPhones in the world right now, it's gonna be pretty tough to lose an item or get it stolen and have it not pinged its location constantly to you. When your item is far away from the actual host phone, it'll start pinging looking for other iPhones in the area. Once it finds one, in the background, it'll actually automatically connect to that iPhone and have that iPhone ping you its location. Now this doesn't use a lot of energy and you don't actually know it's happening if you're near one. It's all encrypted and done in the background and then it can ping your phone that some other phone in the world has detected that it's been near your tag. So if you have anything that you get worried about getting lost, like your keys, even your pet animal, they even make dog collars that have these embedded in them so you can attach them really nicely, you will always be able to know where your object is as long as the iPhones are around in the world and I don't see them going away anytime soon. Hope you learned something about the AirTags, and if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one.